Hello, so this time we'll look at magnetic fields. Now, what do we mean by a magnetic field? Well, around this magnet, there's kind of some invisible area where when I put something near it, an object will be attracted towards the magnet. And depending on where it is, it'll be attracted to different positions. Okay, and if I put another magnet near it, then that will be attracted either to the South Pole or the North Pole, depending on which end of the magnet we're looking at. Um, so what we say is there is a region around a magnet where another magnet or even a piece of magnetic material will experience a force, and that's called a magnetic field. Okay, so let's just write a definition. A magnetic field is a region around a magnet where a magnetic material experiences a force. Okay, and we can visualize it in terms of lines, and a line would show the direction that um, either a compass would point or that a north pole of a magnet would get pushed. Okay, so if we took another north pole of a magnet, and let's see if it was here, then the north pole putting it there would be being pushed away from the magnet. If it was here, it would be being pushed away that way. We actually work out the direction of a magnetic field and the shape of a magnetic field using a little compass. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will draw it, I'm going to draw it this way around. And this is the method for finding the shape of a magnetic field. What's the... Right, the first thing I have to do is, in case I move my magnet, I'm going to draw around it like that. Okay, so that if I accidentally move the magnet, I can put it back where it was. Now, I want to see which way a compass would point at various positions. So I could take a compass like this and put it near to the magnet and it will point in different positions or different directions depending on whereabouts I put it. Okay, if I move it around here, it will move, it will point different directions. Okay, but this is quite a big compass and so it's a little bit cumbersome. So what we do is we use something called a plotting compass, which is basically another compass. If I just move my mat and everything away, because it will affect the compass. Okay, I'm just going to hold it over here. Okay, on the desk, it's a little compass, and you can see it is actually pointing. Oh, that's magnetic. <laughs> it is actually pointing in that direction, which we already decided was approximately north. So my little compass is just a compass that points north. It's just it's tiny so that I can get it into position. So how do we find our magnetic field and how do we draw it? Okay, well our first step is we pick somewhere and we draw a little dot and we say that's where we're going to start plotting our magnetic field. And we take our compass and we put it so that the back end of the compass is pointing where that dot is. So the, the tail end of the compass, the needle end, is po the pointy end is pointing that way. So I draw a dot where the front end is pointing. And then I move my compass so that the tail end is pointing to where the dot is. And then I draw another dot. And then I move it again so that the tail end is pointing where the dot was. And I draw another dot at the front. I do the same again and draw a dot and I do it the same again and I draw a dot and again and again and again until I get back to my magnet. Okay so I've got a line of dots and the arrow of the compass was pointing around that way. So I'm drawing these up. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to put an arrow on it to show which way the compass was pointing, which was that way. Okay, that's my first line, but I could start anywhere. I'm going to start here now. I'm going to put my compass so that the back end is pointing to the dot there, and then the front end is there. Let's do it again. Move it around, and it's there. Ooh, this is going quite quickly to there and then 
there's the dot there and again oh, I can't quite get it in now basically it's gone to about there it doesn't quite fit so this line has gone like that and that was the way that the needle was pointing on the little compass and I can do the same on the other side so let's start from this side and we put the tail there okay let's see where that goes okay that's going to go to there and then the compass moves to there so we put another dot and then another dot and then another dot and then another dot and finally back to there okay so we've got one here goes that way Ooh, didn't quite go through there so again the needle was pointing away that way and let's draw one more I'm going to start from there now this one might go off the edge of the paper you never know we'll see from there okay no, I haven't gone off the paper it's gone quite big though now the fact that they are different sizes these loops on each side of the, comp of the magnet doesn't really indicate anything in particular it just indicates that I didn't start in exactly symmetrical places on either side of the magnet okay because this one was slightly further around the corner than that one so let's join that one up and see where that goes Okay, and the arrow was pointing that way. Let's do a couple more just from the end. So I'm going to start one here and see where that goes. Well, that's going to go there and then there. And then we are going to go across the edge. Okay, that loop is going to be too big. It might eventually loop all the way back around, but it's going to be too big for us to see. So we'll do another one here the back of the compass put a dot and a, oh whoops and another dot and another dot and again that one's gone off the top and this is looking like a butterfly sort of sometimes people call it butterfly now we can do the same at this end so I can do something here but this end I have to kind of work backwards because the point is already pointing at the at the magnet so let's put the point pointing at the dot and then I go to the back end so I'm going to work in reverse and this comes out here and then here and then here okay and the compass needle is pointing that way so done the last one here and here okay and that one the needle was pointing that way and that is our typical um, magnetic field diagram. Okay, if I take this off, I have north at that end, south at that end. So I've got north here and south here. And you can see that all of the lines point away from north. They're kind of sprouting out of the north end and they're coming into the south end. That is a typical um, shape of a magnetic field. When you're drawing this in real life, if you get a line that's coming off here, sometimes when you get far enough away from the magnet what can happen is that instead of curling round the north line just heads off north um, because eventually you'll be far enough away from the magnet that the earth's own magnetic field will um, cause the compass to move north like that if you're far enough away from the magnet if i'm close to the magnet then the magnet has an effect but if i'm far away from the magnet then the compass just points north so that's our typical uh, magnetic field diagram and how to plot it using a plotting compass.